So I look like a total mess, and this video is not going to be super funny, I guess. And my... This is, like, a huge problem for me. Like, my hair already looks like this. So usually I'm, like, crazy and kind of out of control and, like, laughing and making jokes. Today's topic is a little bit more serious because it actually did kind of hurt my feelings. Last weekend, if you literally saw my shopping vlog, you saw I was shopping for a pair of shorts. We were in Springfield and we were looking at like four different stores. Actually, it was like two or three different stores. I could not find any jean shorts. I don't like fabric shorts. They don't, they're not flattering on me. They never match with anything I wear. And if you notice, I don't wear a crazy colored anything. Like I bought a green shirt and a white and black shirt and a, a gray shirt. I could not find a pair of jean shorts. I tried on a stack of jean shorts that were in my size and the size up and nothing fit. <laughs> I have all these shorts to try on. And that was also in the video before. And I'll link that video in the description box so you can go ahead and watch it. But it just made me really, like I literally was crying on this trip to go shopping for clothes. It was for Easter, but like we were getting a few extra outfits just so we could wear because it was getting nicer outside and warmer. It's been getting a lot hotter lately. It's like just, I just wanted to be more comfortable, especially at school. Like I don't even want to be there the eight hours I'm already there. Like, you know, I I just want to be more comfortable as it is. I found like four pairs that fit. And today I decided to wear an outfit to school that I put on a pair of shorts with and I'm still wearing the shorts and I'm wearing the shirt that went with it. It says sorry I'm late. But the bell for school didn't even ring and I said to my teacher because I was wearing heels on Sunday for Easter and I said I think I pulled something in my leg. Like I talked to her every morning and she said I don't think those shorts are appropriate. You need to go to the office. And I was like okay. So like I'll insert the clips here of like the picture I took in the video of me because the rule at my school is when you put your hands down to your sides it's fingertip the rule and yes I understand that my shorts were not past my fingertips but for them to be past your fingertips your shorts literally have to be mid thigh you cannot find you cannot find appropriate cute jean shorts anymore and it's just so frustrating that that is the rule whenever I was in regular classes because most of you know I'm an alternative. I do online school all day. I literally sit at a computer for, let's see, I get there at 8. For 7 hours of my day, I sit at a computer for a break, which is 15 minutes, 15 to 20 depending, and then for lunch, I'm for a half an hour. So 45 minutes of my day, I am up and moving besides to walk to the bathroom. So why does it matter if my shorts are this much too short? Why is it that big of a deal? And so, I go to the office, and our assistant principal is sitting there, and he's, I was like, I walk over and I said, I was told my shorts were too short. And he was like, hmm, well, let me see them. So I walked around the little thing, and he's like, put your hands down to your sides. And I'm like, okay, and I put my hands down to my sides. And literally from like, when my hands are like this, my shorts are like here would not have been an issue it was not an issue and he's like well you need to call someone to come get you and I'm like I live in such and such a town which is 15 minutes from the school and he's like well I don't why is it that everybody in the we call it the regular building it's just that like everybody in the regular building that's what we call like the main building of the high school everybody in the regular building like all the kids there they can wear whatever they want and rarely do people get dress coded oh did i also forget to mention that i have to ask to use the bathroom totally off topic but like that's also a thing <laughs> i was dress coded in the regular building at the beginning of the year the only other time i wear short anytime i wear shorts it's like dress coded. It does not matter. I'm not trying to be inappropriate. I'm not trying to be provocative. I'm not trying to come off as inappropriate. It's just like every time I wear shorts, dress code. I am forced to wear pants because A, it's not like I just have the money to go spend on pants like this. But all of the little rich preppy girls who who parents run, you know, all of that shit, they, they don't get dress coded. They don't get in trouble. And it just really makes me upset that that's the way things are. And it just seems like if you play a sport, you get a free pass to kind of break the rules. You know what I mean? I, wa I watched this one girl at the beginning of the year. Um, she had this, like, I think she was going to state for palms. And 
or going to like a tournament for palms or cheer. I don't remember which one it was. And she walked in the bathroom and I was talking to one of my friends and she was wearing a romper. And I'm sitting there and I'm talking to this girl and I, you could literally see her butt cheeks hanging from the back of the romper. And I'm like, I also just wanted to add that uh, that was right before school started. And later on that day, sixth period, I think, I also saw her wearing that same romper. So I know that she did not get dress coded for wearing it. So I think that it's kind of bogus that she could wear something like that all day long because she was playing a sport. But I get dress coded for shorts that are not inappropriate whatsoever. If they weren't appropriate, my parents would not have bought them for me. And I'm sorry, but the school does not buy my clothes, so they should not get to dictate what I wear to school. I have to be at school every day. I have to go. I don't have a choice. So why is it that the school enforces such strict rules on dress code because they can and that's simply why they do it they want to oppress us as as human beings they want to enforce ridiculous rules on us and i think it's absolutely stupid i get dress coded for shorts that have this much extra fabric below my butt she can wear that because she's in a sport and like that's okay the dress code is so dumb like i just cannot describe it it was like well you need to call someone to come bring you clothes and i'm like that's a 15 minute trip home and a 15 minute trip back and then another 15 minute trip for my my dad or my grandpa to go back home that's 45 minutes of his time no i'm just gonna go home like that's not time i'm gonna waste because you want to sit here and say my shorts are inappropriate no i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna go home they don't even get me started on the cheer uniforms because it is not the girl's fault. I just want to say that first and foremost. Like, the girls who wear the cheer uniforms, it is not their fault. It is the school administration's fault for allowing them to wear that. But then the dress code is totally different. Like, oh, it has to be fingertip length. But their uniforms are this big. Like, I don't understand that. Like, the palms and cheer uniforms, whatever. And the volleyball team can wear spandex, which that's, like, countrywide. I get that. Like, that's all across the, the world. Like, that's fine. But, like then why isn't it allowed in the school? Like they are actually physically representing our school, but like in school during school days when we're sitting in a desk for seven hours, eight hours a day, like no, because we don't want boys to see your butt. I'm not saying to change the sports uniforms, I'm saying we should change the dress code. Even though they can see them through leggings, jeans, yoga pants, shorts, like it doesn't matter. Same thing with shirts, like you could literally not wear a bra and see even more but like, if you wear a strap, like, it just, it's just a big mess. I hope this gives some kind of advice to you guys or like helps you in some way or just shares my story with you. Please have a great day. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Check out my other videos on my channel. I will link some in the description. Comment down below anything you guys want, good or constructive criticism, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye!